Hi folks, Rob here at the photonshop.co.uk bringing to you today a detailed first look at the brand new Phoenix TK45 searchlight. Now the TK45 is a very unique light styled after the minigun. As you can see the three heads resemble the rotating barrels of a minigun and this is a very unique light uh, nothing really quite looks like it on the market today and the basic features are that the light has four lighting levels up to a maximum of 760 lumens features three Cree XPGR5 LEDs each housed in its own smooth reflector and it has the brand new Phoenix Sidewinder tactical switch system we have the right hand button here for on and off and mode switching and the left hand button for level adjustment. As you can see a very attractive new light, usual superb Phoenix build quality. Uh, TK45 operates from 8 AA batteries. You can use alkalines but they won't give you the best performance. You really need to be using in this light uh, AA nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries to give you the best both in terms of output and runtime. And talking of outputs and runtimes, I'll go through those with you now. With 2500 milliamp hour AA NIM batteries, we've got the lowest output of 8 lumens, which will run for 232 hours. Great bit of emergency backup there. 95 lumens, which runs for 22 hours. 312 lumens, which runs for 6.5 hours. And 760 lumens which with the 2500 NIMS will run for two hours. So that's the basic performance. Uh, let's go now to have a look at the handling. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the handling of the TK45 before we move on to the design, build and operation of the light. Now, the TK45 balances very nicely. It's an absolute pleasure to use. And the new Sidewinder switch system puts the dual switches right where they should be, within easy reach, in fact, pretty natural reach of your thumb. And we have very, very positive action on these switches, which again make the light a pleasure to use. And no, uh, no unreliability or missed operations with these. They work perfectly every time, do what they're supposed to do. Right, as you can no doubt see, the design of the TK45 is completely unique. Nothing else like it on the marketplace. And as I mentioned earlier, it's styled after the rotary barrel minigun. Very impressive to look at. And if we start and take a look at the light in detail around at the tail, the tail cap there with the tail stand crenellations, beautifully machined. We have a shoulder here to aid handling and help stop your palm slipping off the back of the light and then we have this brand new grip area newly designed for this light uh, machined both around the light in many places and in line with the body tube it gives you grip in both directions and if you see each of those little rectangles there they have multiple lines very fine lines machined down them and that gives you yeah, well, an absolutely impressive amount of grip in the fore aft direction on the light. This is not a light that's going to be slipping out of your hand easily. And we move on to the neck of the light, where we've got fastener there for the uh, lanyard attachment. And the Phoenix dual switch sidewinder system, which uses the right hand switch for on and off left hand switch for adjusting levels. Ahead of that we have this large diameter head which uh, the size of it apart from holding these three large lighting heads serves an important purpose in that it uh, soaks up heat and dissipates it effectively to the atmosphere due to the large area. Uh, this in combination with the uh, large metal area in each head means that the light can run continuously for a long period of time at its maximum output. And got some nice bit of styling here on the heads. Also serves a 
a slight extra purpose of increasing the surface area again facilitating the extra cooling and as you can see there is a gap between the three lighting heads which uh, again aids air circulation and uh, is one of the factors also that allows the light to run continuously at maximum output as opposed to lights which have all the uh, LEDs mounted within the same reflector area this will dissipate heat much more effectively and you can see at the front there we have three LEDs Cree XPG R5s mounted in smooth reflectors they give an excellent combination between throw and spill and this light actually has a fantastically smooth beam which I'll show you later now we have anti-reflective glass lenses, anti-shatter lenses uh, very very high quality items and crenellations on the front of the bezel which serve a very useful purpose and if I switch the light on put it down on the table you can see that the light is switched on if you need to put it down for a moment and you'll be able to find it easily in the dark okay that's the design of the TK45 now let's take a look at the build okay so let's take a look at the components of the CK45 and we'll start with the head now there inside the head are the electrical contacts which mate with the contacts on the battery magazine and if we take a look at the battery magazine alongside you can see the center spring on the battery magazine and the outer contact ring on the battery magazine and, and where they made inside the head giving you very very positive electrical contact now the head is a fair size substantial unit but it's not actually very heavy so it gives you plenty of area for cooling but doesn't uh, doesn't weigh you down at the same time here we see our three Cree XPG R5 LEDs toughened glass lenses with anti-reflective coatings for maximum light transmission and crenellated sections on the bezel so that if you put the light face down the light will spill out the sides and you can find it in the dark plus the Phoenix Sidewinder switch system now the battery magazine holds your eight AA batteries and with this magazine and the format of the light you really need to be using NIM rechargeable batteries for the simple reason is it'll give you a much higher capacity than the alkalines that we've got fitting in here at the moment meaning you'll get much longer run time and sustained high output basically if you use NIMS the light will maintain regulation throughout the life of the batteries so it'll be totally non-dimming and on this battery magazine you can see it there we have reverse polarity protection which is achieved simply by inletting the positive contacts in the magazine slightly so that if you put a battery in the wrong way around the negative side of the battery can't make contact with the, uh, the terminal and we have the tail cap a little bit of white residue in there as I said this is a pre-production model and that's not something that's going to be present on your production unit here's the body tube waterproofing o-ring at both ends square cut threads at both ends which are highly durable and very very smooth to operate and those threads are anodized for extra wear resistance so to assemble the light we simply screw in the body tube into the head this is really is a very nice smooth operation insert the battery magazine spring first into the tube and screw on the tail cap and that's it that's all it takes to reassemble the light extremely quick and easy and let's have a look now at the operation